Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, but you can call me Salda as well. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to check my other videos. I make content about English teaching in Japan and about life in Japan in general. So if that's something that sounds interesting for you, please feel free to check them out. So today I'll be sharing with you the top five things that I really like and appreciate about being an ALT in Japan. I've been working as an ALT since 2021 and I can say that this is definitely a career move that I should have done sooner if I knew what it would be actually like to be an ALT. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that this is my list and my experiences may be different from other people. That's totally fine. If you're also an ALT or if you were an ALT in the past and you have a similar experience or a totally different experience from mine, please feel free to share your experiences in the comment section down below. Okay, so let's get right to it. Number five, the Kyushoku or the school lunch. And a life where I'm from made a really good video about the school lunch in Japan but experiencing it firsthand is a whole new world. ALTs have the option to opt in or out of the school lunch, but if you don't have any diet restrictions, I highly recommend it. I love how I can learn about Japanese culture through our school lunch, like when we had the Tanabata or the Star Festival theme lunch, or when the school used the locally harvested vegetables. There was also a time when the biggest local chain curry restaurant sponsored the school lunch of the city's elementary schools. The school lunch committee members explain what's in the school lunch daily and the school also hands out the list of meals for the school lunch at the beginning of every month and it has the ingredients list and even the calorie information. Although I'm not a big fan of every meal, it's definitely a great experience for me. If you'd like to enjoy the world of Kyushoku, you can live vicariously through Marina Sensei in the Japanese drama series Oishi Kyushoku. Number 4. Finishing work early and on time. When I was working as an Eikaiwa teacher, I used to get off work at around 9 in the evening, and the only establishments open at that time were izakayas and convenience stores. We know what it would do to our wallets if we choose to go to either every day. Since working as an ALT though, Yes, I start working a little bit earlier than I used to, but I'm always guaranteed to finish work before sunset. Since I chose to live in the same city as my school, I can still go to the bank, city hall, grocery stores, cafes, and libraries after work and not worry about missing dinner. I definitely feel like I can do more things with my schedule right now. For three, daily schedule. I used to work at the biggest elementary school in my prefecture. Even though the schedule was really busy, I still had time to prepare for the lessons, have meeting with my partner teacher, and get everything ready for the lesson. I had never, ever, not even once, had to bring home work. Since I started working as an ALT, I always had time to finish the preparation during working hours. In fact, I sometimes still end up with more time, which I've been using to study Japanese. If you can work efficiently, then you can do so many other things as an ALT. Number two, vacation days. In 2021, when I first started working as an ALT, I had my first ever long vacation, and that was in the summer. Back then, I was working non-stop for over six years. I just felt really tired. Even when I was in the Philippines, when I was working as a public school teacher, although we had vacation days, I usually had a lot of paperwork and a lot of seminars and training during vacation. So. They never really felt like vacation to me. Working as an Eikaiwa teacher, the longest holiday that we had was 11 days. So definitely vacation that's over a month was something really new to me. At the beginning, I didn't know what to do with myself. I kept thinking, oh, maybe I should work or maybe I should do this or that. But eventually, I learned to enjoy it. Vacation days as an ALT mean vacation. Depending on your company or your type of employment, you'll probably get over a month of paid vacation days in summer alone. Not to mention the almost three weeks paid vacation in winter and all the other national holidays in Japan. You can spend it however you want, and I most definitely did mine. If you are the type of person who likes to travel, you'd appreciate this even more. And number one, Road to Nihongo Jozuness. When I first came to Japan, I had zero Japanese. And even when I started working here and living here, 
For over three years working as an Eikaiwa teacher, I really had very little opportunity to practice Japanese because again, the schools want to create this English environment for the students and all the Japanese staff at the school use English as well. So you don't really get a lot of chance to practice Japanese. We worked with English speakers and we were all discouraged to use Japanese in school. Also, since we worked purely with English speakers, my co-workers became my default friends and it could be both a blessing and a disadvantage because outside of work, we mainly use English to communicate with each other or when I worked with Filipinos, we used Tagalog or Filipino outside of work. Though I tried taking private lessons outside of working hours, I couldn't retain anything. I never used it. I never used it at work. I never used it outside of work. So there was really no chance for me to practice Japanese. That all changed when I started working as an ALT. Actually, the job interview alone had a very little portion of Japanese interview where the interviewer asked me some basic Japanese questions. And the only reason I could answer them was because I prepared in advance and not because I actually understood the questions, but I memorized the answers for them. So that was the very first challenge for me. Kind of like a wake up call for me to really practice Japanese. It was going to be a really different environment. Like on the first day of work alone, I had to introduce myself to the vice principal, the principal, and the teachers all in Japanese. I had to practice with a company representative. I had to ask him many times, was this okay? Is this correct? So definitely that was a really different scenario from my past three years of work here in Japan. 100% of my co-workers are Japanese. All students approach me and try to have conversations with me in Japanese. And although I always respond in English and help them say things in English, they help me improve my listening skills. Some parts of our lessons are explained by the Japanese teacher of English in Japanese, which helps me connect the Japanese concepts and words to their English counterparts. I hear Japanese every day and Japanese grammar finally started making sense in my head. My vocabulary tripled even after just a few months. And although I am nowhere near fluent, I can proudly say that I'm on the right path to Nihongo Jozuness. So that's it. That's my top five. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts about this list. Please look forward to the Eikaiwa version of this top five list. And hopefully, I can upload it by next week. Until next time, matane!